Um. There we go. Right, boost up. And here on the other side we have a gliding bike front. It's looking way better than the bike we have, or Driss's bike, like the old sand cutter. Gliding bike wings. Ooh, and now we can press the shining button. I think. Do we? Oh, I think let's talk to her first. Uh, do, do I talk to you? Hello? No, I don't think we're talking to her. Oh, we have to be here, actually. It's from the other sense. And we got the achievement, Sai Moon. Which I imagine is the name of our bike. That is looking pretty. Speak to Saizo. Let's do that then. Listen. Saizo tilts her head for a moment, leaning closer to Sai Moon. All I uh, all at once I know the whole bike's name. Sai Moon. I say it in a whisper to let Saizo know. Sai Moon. Sai Moon. Well done, Sable. So, what does it mean? What does it mean? You have to ask her yourself. Because it looks entirely serious. The bike, to my enduring surprise, says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Sai Moon that I may get to know her better. And Saizo looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready then, for the gliding. May all the gods return their faces from you, Sable. I'm not blessing, perhaps, but Saizo is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simon to take care of her. Take out my fellow mechanics and your travel sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a mechanic's um, machine machinist badge. You made plenty of them in my ilk in the gliding. Show them your worth and give them more badges. I thank Saizo twice for the good measure and give a bow. I am ready. And I should speak to Charlie about my gliding ceremony. Awesome. I think I didn't have this part during the demo. I think everything up to this point is where the demo ended. With a beautiful song, I have to say. So I hope that um, soundtrack is coming back soon. Also, I'm going a little bit faster than during the demo, which is nice. Because I already have seen it once. And if I would still do one and a half hour over the same part, it would be quite a shame. Because there is so much in this game to exp be explored. I return to Yadi with some new, uh, with new lightness, and it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Yes. I tell Yadi that Saizo gave me the badge. Then you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for Mask uh, Kate Caster in no time. I try to think of going to a Mask Caster, but it seems possibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade it for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. So... Oh? You have to feel it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now, the tone of her now puts butterflies back, back into my stomach. With all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's time, isn't it, to walk to the face door at the temple of Rohana. There you assemble your gliding mask and go. There are things I wish to convoy, uh, convey to Yadi here the, of love and gratitude and fear of worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. These are dyed with the traditional ibex in maroon, and I provide you great comfort in the desert. When you leave today, you'll no longer be Sable, clan child of the air ibexy. You will just be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. Now I will see you again. I don't know where to my journey will end, but I know where it must begin, and I am ready. I should have the temple. Uh, let's first pick up my bike. I, I don't know whether I should pick up my bike. 
pretty sure whether that's a thing or whether they bring my bike to me for my gliding. But at least I can try. Like, I don't want to be going to the temple, which is quite far away, and then realizing I should have probably taken my bike. Because otherwise, I don't know whether there's a way to take it back. Can I? Uh, please. Uh, she looks busy. Uh, she probably has to, like, program or something. Stuff. I don't think I can grab it. No, I can't. Okay, no problem. Um. There's a glider right in front of me. Which is the sense, because I'm... Uh, for now, let's grab this one. I mean, I have to... Ah, oh. oh, it's not that far. You know what? Let's walk this. I don't want to impair Driss any further by stealing his sand cutter. Because I had to walk 200 meters to the temple. I love this game. I don't think the cartographer and the map was in the demo. I think I would have remembered it. So yeah, it's really lovely to actually see the map being there. People must be very, very mobile. Alright, back to the beginning. It's so odd because stuff seems to hover around here. Look at those dots. They seem to hover. It's really strange, but also so very pretty. Uh, first, before we do this, loud noise. There we go. This is our setup. So we've got a children's top, which we wore all the time, and I've got a glider top, and we had just regular trousers and glider trousers. That's awesome. So pretty. Look at that. Do I have to choose one? Do I? I think I have to. Ready. For one hand you have this. For the other hand you have that. I should pretty much you just fully shine. To be mean or anything, but I don't. Okay. Go down here. I think I can climb this. I'm sure what I should have made it. Oh. We can only go here. Oh, I should assemble things. Okay, so I can do that. Where's the other one? The other one is there, which I can probably go... Yeah, I think I first have to take these stairs here. Do I? Which where to go? Oh, probably that way. I knew I had to go in this general direction, but I completely forgot I could actually... There's there. There we go. Awesome, and then we'll go further there, which you probably need to do. Because otherwise we don't get high enough in order to land on a platform. Archer? Does it represent things? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to represent. But that's the only two I can imagine. 
I thought there were three of them. No, all three of them. Last one is in this corner. It's like kind of secluded on its own. I so much love this game. It's so relaxing. Like this is the kind of game that you just play after, well, a day like today for me. Like end of a long week. Not a long week at all, actually. But it, it was a week with lots of work to do. Start my internship as a software developer, which is completely different in some aspects and though completely how I expected it to be, which I don't really like it. There isn't any bad worth I can mouth about my internship. It's just a lot harder than just sitting at school. But this is a game perfectly for playing after a day like this and I almost fell off there. Oh! All right. Those are all masks. And I think that's mine. I found my mask. This! Look at this! It's so pretty! I mean, that must look a lot better than this self made one. Sexy mask. Alright, let's put it on then. I mean, this is probably an, an item of importance that you don't want to not wear. But yeah, what I was saying before, um, that scene over there, that this game is so darn relaxing. Like, it's even more relaxing than I would say uh, Breath of the Wild, which is currently the game I think I most... Uh, I can best compare it with. Which is somewhat weird, because, like, it doesn't look like anything. There, there is, as far as I know, n no combat. Uh, but yeah, just the sense of exploration, the sense of the unknown... It, it, it's somewhat similar. And yet so vastly different. Uh, any other game that I can recall that is somewhat similar? Let me think. Maybe the newly released Omno? Which I still want to play. I played like an 8 minute demo. Um, in the same um, day I think even. I think I recorded both videos on the same day. Um, but during the uh, Spring Festival of Steam, there was both the demo of Sable, but also the one from Omno, which again, it has been released, I think, last June. Which you like. At least very recently. Let's keep it at that. And um, it's also about exploration, some puzzles. Um, I think that one is the closest that I can imagine to this game. There we are. It's the start of everything. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Yeah, this voice echoes strangely to the machine, yet still warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we have gone. Dining is a journey that must begin alone. There's a certain nuisance lost in transmission, and for that I'm grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weeply into her arms to stay forever. But I'm ready. I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things will always carry, you will always carry with you, as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They are the mechan mechanics at the Burnt Oak Station, and among Sizes' closest friends. Utaris are a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get to another me uh, mechanist batch if you are so inclined. Only suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've turned to Ewer. Keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. It takes a long breath, and I forget that things are as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. 
That's hard, I imagine. I mean, I, I know they're nomads. But still, having to leave every couple of years because one of the children grows up and has to go on back gliding only to come back later and know the child has been gone must be incredibly hard. I can actually summon my glider. Oh my goodness. I don't know whether that's going to be this episode or a couple episodes ago that I talked about playing the show and I was so happy I could actually call my horse. I cannot do that. Uh, let me quickly check my map. There were a couple of things that I still wanted to search for. Which is, I'm going to add a marker here and I'm going to add a marker here. I know it's not the quest line. And I know I can always come back. Oh my gosh, this thing is much better than the other one. Um, but still. I feel like since we're here, we should explore this area. And it ain't gonna happen if I just go, you know? Uh, am I? Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't do that. I am basically on top of my first marker. Um, no. Marker, please. Let's close. But you're the first one, so I imagine this might be something I can find later. You know what, let's, for now, let's just go. On one hand, I want to explore this area. On the other hand, there is a world waiting for us that we haven't seen yet. Also, this glider is so silent. Is it that I'm talking yet? That's probably the only thing you hear in the recording. It's just somewhat sad because this thing has such beautiful soundtracks. I might start hearing once we leave the canyon. I love the soundtrack. Our glider. Let's just follow the blip on our compass. Let's go start doing that. Oh, there's actually a balloon there. That is awesome. I kind of do need that, so likely. That might be a photographer. I wish we were going to hear so much more of the soundtrack. And I don't even think this was the main one. It feels so eerily silent now that it's gone. Not bad, don't get me wrong. Oh, there's something flying over there as well. Something bright red. Yeah, look at that! 
What might that be? I think that's gonna be our next destination. Let's first get here. I mean, how do I get up there? I think from the back. Climbing on top of there and then just make the last jump and hopefully have enough stamina left to climb. This place is... I don't think empty is the best word. And I don't want to call it not empty, but because it's a desert. Like, saying it's not empty is kind of an understatement. And probably people are going to laugh at me in the comment section because I'm calling a pretty empty desert not that empty. But hear me out. For something being a desert, as something being a world of exploration where it's all the great unknown. I mean, I I'm used to games with, like... I mean, it's just a God of Witcher and Breath of the Wild again, which are like two very big open world games. All about exploration and doing quests and all that kind of stuff. It's full. It's so full. It's so alive. But that would be so incredibly wrong in this game. Imagine a game like this, where everything is alive. Where everything is, you know... Please, I want to go to there, this. Imagine this game being so full... With things that you're like... Pull this back a bit. The camp, which is there. Awesome. Imagine uh, this game. A game full of exploration and the great unknown. Uh, let's imagine there being an NPC on every corner. That would be awful. That would be absolutely awful. Like, we'd, would, like what, what would you be working with is the big question then. And it simply wouldn't be a great game about exploration and getting to know yourself. It would be everything but that. Simply put, Table's nothingness is exactly what the game needed. The ship is. Let's go there next. But first, let's meet an extra duck. Photographer. Photographer. I agree with for shyly a little cowed uh, about how alone we are up here and how intimate it sometimes feels despite it being so much ab uh, about my gliding. He responds with what sounds like a bomb smile. Hello, deck glider. Thank you for taking the time to climb all the way up here. The fane gets a little lonely sometimes, you know. I tell her I do, given how lonely it can be to get on the sand sometimes. I hope Simon doesn't hear. So then, what is it you need? What's worth a look nearby? I ask if there's anything worth a look nearby. She chuckles to herself. Of course! You don't think I'm standing up here for nothing, do you? Have you been to the Great Wind Tower yet? Get up there, and you can see for ages. And the Burg owns station is very close by as well. You never guess why it's called that. I think about it. It goes on before I can shout my prediction. And if you're a fan of insects, there's a giant Hercules beetle nest nearby. You know, rumor has it they can lift 100 times their own body weight. I can help you, Glider. Can I help you, Glider? Can I buy a map? Here's what I have. I can actually buy this one. Please. What are you? Oh, it's actually a badge. Oh yeah, let's do buy that. Thanks, Glider. Goodbye. Uh, let's check the map. Oh my god. This. So... Oh, this is actually the station where we were supposed to go to. I'm sure what's down here. Is it... Is this, this down here? There really is it. Okay, that's awesome. The uh, blip kind of moves themselves. Uh, this is like the big thingy there, and this is the burnt oak station, which means I can actually remove the marker because there's already a marker there. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. But for now, you guys, I think this is a absolutely beautiful place to stop this episode. I hope you enjoy Sable as much as I do. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time we post a new video. If you're really liking this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of Sable and if there's any game that reminds you of. Have an absolutely lovely day and take care everyone.